Nothing is final yet, just to be clear. But EJ and I have been seriously considering homeschooling Zika. Before we go to our reasons why, hi everyone, I'm Ginger Arboleda. And I'm EJ. And we are content creators and startup business owners who love sharing our experiences on personal finance, investing, business, and parenthood. If you love learning and sharing your experiences about these topics, come and hit that subscribe button, like, and share this video, and comment down below so we can also get to know you, our viewers. Now, as I was saying, we're considering homeschooling our daughter. We're about 90% sure that little kids our daughter's age will be going back to face-to-face -to -face classes next year. With the cases of COVID dropping, people are now able to move and interact more freely. Our government also started vaccinating children around our daughter's age recently, so they're a bit more safe when it comes to the effects of COVID. So, why homeschool? We've been doing distance learning for the past two years, handled very well by her school, I might add. We soon realized the benefits of that setup such as being able to listen into her lessons and being able to provide the support she needs after school. We've also seen the extra sleep that she's able to get with her current schedule. Before, she had to wake up at 6 a.m. to get ready. Now she gets an hour and a half of extra sleep every day because she wakes up at 7.30. Because of that, we've seen that she has more energy during the day. This time saved on not having to commute also gives her more time to play and relax as well. With that extra time and energy, she was able to explore some of her extracurricular interests as well, such as learning how to code and play chess. We also feel that we will be effective facilitators of Zika's education. Zika is naturally curious, she loves learning, she loves exploring, and is very diligent. The habit of discipline is something that we need to build as parents regardless of whether she's in school or at home anyway. We've also seen that there are certain topics that um, take her a bit more time when it comes to learning. In a formal school setting, her teacher can spend more time on that topic just because a, a few students don't get it. With the one-on-one -on -one approach, though, that's provided by homeschooling, we can be very flexible and try out different approaches to help her on those tough topics. We're also looking forward to the idea that we'll get to spend more quality time with her while teaching her. I also look forward to helping her discover new things and finding aha moments. Lastly, of course, the cost of homeschooling versus enrolling her in traditional schools. The tuition fee of a traditional private school for grade schools in the Philippines can range from around 70,000 pesos for pretty good schools up to almost a million pesos for international schools. With homeschooling, the quote-unquote high-end is just at 50,000 pesos a year. But like any parent with kids in a traditional school setting, we also still have our hesitations. How will she grow socially? We're still looking for ways where she can get that. Right now, she primarily gets it through playing Roblox, Among Us, and other games with her friends. All online though. Is that enough? Luckily, some homeschool providers also provide opportunities for parents to talk so that they can organize events and play dates. We also have quite a few homeschooling parents in our circle so we can come together for that as well. Also, how will we handle homeschooling when our baby grows to school age? Will the quality of learning suffer if we're now handling the schooling of two kids? We're up for the challenge though, and we'll be actively documenting our journey. We've spoken to a few homeschool providers, and we'll soon share a video about the factors we considered. How about you? Do you think you can homeschool your kids? Comment down below and tell us about your thoughts on this issue. And of course, don't forget to click on that like button and share this with other parents and subscribe to our channel. Again, this is Team Arbo, and thank you for watching.